The public, as a voter, I understand a competent politician to be the guy who has built schools or yeah. built the roads Correct. and whatnot. But it's an MP. That really is not his job. Yeah. Correct. So, 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 so okay. James, again, it goes back to the, the, uh, uh, the sclerosis that is our, is our civil service. So that every politician who mounts a podium as an access to a microphone has his halo over their head as the savior. No, we don't need saviors in this country. Correct. We need people who can help execute our legacy commitments, which is basically access to high quality education, access to health, access to infrastructure and food and, and, and decent shelter. Now, we don't need somebody who comes to say, and that's why these manifestos are just nonsensical. They're laughable. And everybody invests so much time in these things. And then if you read them, uh, Alfred, you know, even as a, as, as a long essay, I would grade yeah. them as zero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just, they just really, it's like, this is just a total waste of time. Because yes, yes. the problem is that they're not, they, there's no systems thinking in there. Correct. Mm. Because there's no way you can talk about agriculture here and then talk about markets there and then talk about manufacturing here, then talk about health over there, then talk about one county, one product. Is it, where is the coherence of mm -hmm. understanding that this is a, these are constitutive elements of a whole? Mm -hmm. And how does the whole work together in a systems, uh, in an organized system right. that is called government? Now, so th they're fundamentally flawed. I know my, uh, you know, Alfred and I have mutual friends who write these things for these politicians, who respect them deeply, but it is, it, it is just a poverty of imagination. Mm -hmm. Now, what we need is to understand that government has certain ordained fundamental commitments to the people. How do we create affordable housing? How do we make sure that our schools don't leave any children behind? That education is high quality, it is accessible, and it leads to something that enables young people in this country to get skills. How do we create an integrated education? How, how does education work as a system? From grade school to university, and with the tertiary education with middle level colleges in there, so that people can develop the skills that they need and those who go to university are at the apex of the skill of the skill metrics now how do you make sure that agriculture generates sufficient productivity that air feeds the household that produces the food it is unfortunate that in this country farmers who toil who even got to their fields before we got to the studio will be hungry nine months out of 12 months in a year they can only feed themselves for three months now how, how do you square that how do you square with the reality that the Kenyans who work harder than us, mm -hmm. who will not go back to a decent shelter tonight, mm -hmm. who cannot afford to pay rent, who are now walking to the office, not because they want to be physically fit, but they, you know, the, the paycheck cannot be the can both ends of the yeah, month. Yeah. Now, wh 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 where is the fairness in this society? This is what should be keeping the next president awake, not this bill of goods that they want to sell us, they're going to build this and that. We don't need you to build anything. Create exactly. a structural, exactly. Exactly. functional de bureaucracy Correct. that will basically prioritize the needs of the country. Mm -hmm. and, right. then, and then get out of our face. That's interesting. Yes. And, and I mean, even on yeah. the back of that, mm -hmm. look at the, uh, you know, the back page of uh, the Daily Nation. This is one of the issues mm -hmm. that Kenyans are waking up to right. face. Mm -hmm. Lack of unga on the stores. Yesterday I went to the supermarket hoping to get a, uh, you know, a packet of flour, but I could not get it. And why? The, uh, apparently the subsidy has locked out a couple of, uh, uh, you know, uh, small millers in the country. Now Kenyans are having to deal with this issue. Yeah, uh, thanks and, uh, and thanks, Alex, Alex, for for really highlighting that. And, right. and and I think this is again the bankruptcy that we're talking about uh, and highlighting here that uh, you see the only reason you want to lead this nation. For me, there are only two reasons why anybody would want to lead this nation. Right. Is to ensure the 54 million Kenyans are first taken care of and number two are thriving. 54 million, mm -hmm. each and every one of them, be they a child, be they a destitute, be they somebody who's unwell, be they the old and so on. We need to think about these people, where they are, the, the basics that they need, first and foremost, to, to just lead a normal life mm. and then the investments that we need to put in them mm. so that they can actually move to the next level whether uh, and, that, and that's what health policy should be mm. should be dealing with that is what uh, you know food security should be dealing, dealing with and so on and so forth the second one yeah. is economy mm. why because we live inside a pol something we call a political economy yeah. Uh, without re the country generating resources and people generating resources then in fact that initial vision, that initial ambition of ensuring that every single Kenyan is taken care of, 
then becomes very difficult. Mm. And, and, and that's what we should actually be asking. How do we grow an, an economy in a way that all these people end up, uh, you know, actually end up being protected? Mm -hmm. And as Alex has put it so eloquently, in fact, I would liken it to, to my family. Mm -hmm. You can imagine, I'm in the family, I'm the father, and uh, all that I do is to buy things for my children. Uh, I buy a uniform, I buy a toy, I buy food. No, I don't exist as, as, as the head of that family to buy things for my children. I exist as a head of that family to ensure first and foremost that the basics are meant, but, 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 but more importantly, that every single member of this family becomes the best they can be. Mm -hmm. and, and those are not things I buy. They're longer term decisions I'm making. Where, which school will these children go to? Um, where do, will they, they go to church? Who are their friends? What do they do over the weekend? What is the health mm -hmm. uh, things? So uh, it's a holistic, it's a holistic thing. Mm -hmm. and, and all these things that I, I buy are just a small contribution towards that. Mm -hmm. And here's the bankruptcy of our politics. That you're coming in, you're not even <coughs> asking, who are these people in the constituency? Who are these people in a county? If you ask Nairobi County, how many jobs did Nairobi County create? <laughs> in the last five years. They have no idea. If you ask Nairobi, uh, what is the poverty levels mm. in your county? They have no idea. If you ask Nairobi, uh, the people of Nairobi, um, wh what aspects of, of, of economy are they, uh, are they taking part in? And how can we uh, you know, uh, ensure they, they move to the next, next level? Mm. They have no idea. Why? Because they want to fix roads. Mm -hmm. In fact, they want to do Sonko rescue. Uh, they want to bring in uh, some water here, some, you know, those trinkets, right. charms and amulets that you hang around your, your, your arms but you that know, make you both stupid. But and, interestingly and, and enough, Prof, that yes. seems to work in the country. That will work with your children. You buy your children things, they'll be very happy. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> is that all they need? What you're saying is that you must still buy those things. Right. But you must still look yeah. at the transformative agenda. Right. The transformative agenda, by the way, your children may not even mm -hmm. understand. Your children may not, may not understand yeah. why you prefer this system of education as opposed to the other. But your, your children may not mm -hmm. actually understand why they go to church every day or, 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 or to the mosque and so on and so forth. Though that's the transformative agenda that must also happen. Right. But yes, your children must still be bought things. Yes, we still need the schools. We still need the roads and so on. So it's not either or. All we are saying is that governance and leadership is beyond uh, simply doing things. In fact, incidentally, uh, politi political space is the most uh, unreliable space for delivering those things. Yeah. I work in housing, for example. We know no government on earth has, has, has ever been able to provide houses. In fact, uh, when, it, when it comes to pro provision of these things in many countries, uh, it is done outside of government. Yeah. Uh, be they health, be they yeah. politics, uh, I mean, be they, be they schools, be they housing and, uh, and so on and so forth. So, so yes, government provides those things. But incidentally, they're not the best. In fact, the CDF, uh, let me use CDF as an example. Uh, the CDF schools are some of the worst built schools uh, all over the country. They're the most, uh, in terms of quality, they're also the worst in terms of value for money. You find that what private sector builds, you know, for 10 million, CDF builds for 40 million. Anyway, my point is that government <laughs> must deliver things, but on the other hand, the transformative agenda right. is really what is critical. Uh, so, 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 sorry, <coughs> I, I long for that time right. that the president of this country would, would come on air and say, look here, we have a Kenyan. We've gotten information about a Kenyan who's undergoing some difficulty in, um, in uh, you know, Qatar or Saudi Arabia or, or having problems in South Africa or this. The country must bring this Kenyan back where a single Kenyan matters. Each and every Kenyan of the 54 million. These guys don't even think about 10% of us live alone, you know, live alone each and every single one mm -hmm. of the 54 million. All right. And to me, that's where the transformative agenda will start. And it's not going to start with this bravado and, and doing things.